How big was the Reese Mona show at the end for you? Oh, that's, that's phenomenal. Uh, Shock Jalen didn't get a tech. Jalen was all the way under the hoop once he hit his second <laughs> three. So I'm like, Jalen, get back, get back. But it, it was good. Those guys bring it every day in practice. So I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. And sure. Guys turned him over 19 times, held him to under 40% shooting. What was the focus? What was the execution out there? Um, just guarding and keeping the ball in front of us. Um, the team, as well as Coach Turgeon, feel like our defense is, is one of our strong points. Um, <coughs> the guards are focused on keeping the ball in front of them. Um, and the bigs are just focused on uh, protecting the rim, fronting the post and stuff like that. Um, the first half of the game was kind of slow. Um, we switched up in the second half, kind of did a run and jump. And I feel like that, that, that picked up the pace of the game and helped us a lot. What about you? you obviously 12 of the 14 in the second half. So just a little bit of what happened with you there to get started, uh, to, to start feeling it a little bit. Um, I'm an athlete. I like to run. Um, I like to get up and down. Um, I feel like I'm in good shape and stuff. So I kind of told the guys at, at um, halftime, we got a lot of athletes on this team. Let's, let's make this attractive. Uh, we deep too, so if you get tired, we can sub. So that's kind of kind of what we try to do um, in the second half. Um, Anthony got a steal, I got out, ran. Um, and just with that running jump stuff, we was able to get our athletes out in space and make plays. With getting up and down, you guys have now, you know, in all three games, had at least 22 fast break points. How, you know, much fun is that for you? And do you, you know, really feel a difference there from last year with this team? Um, it's fun. It's, it's fun because, I mean, we, we're getting stops on defense, but we're getting turnovers. Um, and that's something we, we, we definitely need harp on. So it's, like I said, I'm an athlete, so I enjoy running. Um, <clears throat> and it's something we work on. We work on fast break defense as well as fast break offense. So just to see the success translate to the game it is a good thing. So, yeah. their, co their, coach said, their coach said the 11-0 run to end the first half was the difference. The roof fell in after that. Do you see it that way? Uh, yeah. Um, it was the, the game was slow. Like I said, the game was being played slow. Um, and that was the pace that they, they wanted it to be played at. Um, and we wasn't rebounding the ball early. Uh, so once we start rebounding, um, <clears throat> I kind of told the guards, let the, let the bigs push, take one or two dribbles, let's hit up the floor so we could run. Um, and at the end of the half, we started to get stopped, started to get rebounds. Um, I got out, got a layup, um, and got out, started making plays, Aaron was hitting shots and stuff. So it was, it was good. We, we just had to get out, get out in space. Mark was referring to the number seven <coughs> next to the Maryland name. Uh, mm -hmm. When there's that kind of expectations, and, and you guys know you have a deep unit, what? How do you think you guys have handled that so far this year? Uh, we love it. We love the the pressure of being the number seven team in the country, um, and we just embrace it. We know we're talented, um, but it's just about ex execution um, and just coming ready to play every single day, um, being ready for practice, um, getting better every day in practice, executing coaching plans and just just getting better every day that's our focus uh, we we embrace being number seven but we know if we get better every day um, the sky's the limit for us so that's our main focus nine turnovers over the first 12 minutes for the rest of the way what was the key to cleaning things up offensively for you guys just taking our time um, <clears throat> they they was in a, a switching man to man um, throughout the game and I feel like it, it kind of threw us off. Um, <clears throat> just they was a big team. They had a lot, a lot of big guards and stuff like that. So them having length and just switching man to man, uh, it took us a little bit of time to get adjusted to. But once we got adjusted to it, um, I feel like I feel like it, we were good. The Jacklers Law Group's successes have resulted in many distinguished awards, including Best Personal Injury Trial Law Firm USA. Maryland's Personal Injury Attorney of the Year twice and Super Lawyers designation every single year. We succeed because we're willing to try cases and insurance companies know it. That's why their claim reps often grumble they pay us more in settlements than any other lawyers. You deserve a great lawyer. If you've been hurt in a car, truck, or train crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1. We just, you know, talked about just the work that Aaron put in you know, over the offseason, especially on the defensive end. What did you see of that, you know, from him? And what did you continue to see with just the work he's putting in to really, you know, be that hounding guy, you know, for you guys on defense? Um, Aaron, Aaron's a, a hard worker. Um, <clears throat> and <clears throat> he's always been somebody that embraced defense. Um, it's just something that he had to learn. 
So I think through his freshman year, he learned how important defense was uh, to stand on the floor and how important defense was to win a game. So in the off season, that was something he really focused on. Um, <clears throat> he's, he's definitely stepped it up this year defensively. Um, he's one of our better on-ball defenders on the perimeter. Um, and just with his size and his length, he's able to create turnovers and, and cause havoc. So. To have another defender that, that kind of got the same mindset as me is it, just fun to have out there. Did you go into the second half thinking or knowing you might be more involved offensively, or is it just you see a wide recovery, obviously, you take it? Uh, well, with running, with me trying to focus on running, uh, just naturally me being an athlete, I knew that I would have to make plays when I could. Um, but I, I wasn't trying to force anything. Um, we got a lot of talented guys. I trust my teammates. So when I see an opportunity to make a play, I'm going to try to make it. But other than that, I'm going to try to play through our system. In the middle of your uh, scoring run, you had a nice little nifty behind the back move. Mm -hmm. like, is that something you practice, or you know, where would you kind of get that move from? What was that's, going through your head? That's a little instinct, man. I've uh, <laughs> been playing basketball my whole life. Uh, I was driving. The defender never stopped me. Um, Eric was on the left side. I felt like I could throw his rhythm off, his timing to block my shot off by making that move. So. It was just instinct. It just happened like that. That's probably the first time I did that since like high school. But <laughs> it, it definitely got the crowd um, into it. It definitely put a smile on Eric's face. Eric enjoyed it, so it was good. And so Darryl, the final nine minutes of the first half, Oakland only had three main field, three made field goals. What did you notice defensively over those nine minutes change? Uh, we kind of switched up how we was guarding screens. Um, <clears throat> they was a bigger team, so they was focused on pounding the ball inside. Uh, and, and getting their bigs involved. So we kind of start, instead of like hedging hard and um, fighting over screens, we kind of went under screens, let our bigs sit back um, so they could have good post position um, and stuff like that. And we started rebounding. That was a lot, another key. We started rebounding and um, stopped giving them second chance opportunities. So it was good. We did good. Thanks, Darrell. Thanks, Darrell.